Hello my dear students, I welcome you all for this wicket tutorials. Those who are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel immediately. So in this uh, video, I have taken how to pass uh, M2 Engineering Mathematics. So that's why I have taken the title as uh, Passing Package. So first I will uh, discuss for uh, CS Stream. CS Stream, consider uh, Module 1. In Module 1, so preferably go with the first question as uh, MATLAB code. Write the MATLAB code. So they will ask the MATLAB code. Definitely one problem will be there on writing MATLAB code. Already you can refer my previous video. I have explained the MATLAB code. So you can refer this video. See here mm, in this video, I have taken question number one. And this is what the given problem. So we need to integrate this twice. For that reason, we have written int of int so there is no function of xy here the integrand is 1 for that reason i have put 1 if they have given any function write down that function so then with respect to y i am doing that's why i have written y so all commas and uh, uh, brackets are all important in the code so don't miss anything while writing the code you can rewrite this by using any other problem so limit 0 to b by a we have b by a square root of a square minus x square this is how we write in matlab so then close the bracket then integrating with respect to x limit 0 to a so this is what the code this carries 6 marks for you this carries 6 marks so definitely if you solve this problem so using matlab code you can get 6 marks so you can score from module 1 minimum 6 marks and secondly, if you solve some uh, little, if you have the knowledge of integration, if you just integrate any problem with respect to a to b uh, or minus a to plus a, minus b to plus b, minus c to plus c, if they give like this with respect to function of uh, uh, x, y, z, with respect to z, with respect to y, with respect to x, just if you know simple concept of integration, you can also get minimum of 2 to 3 marks. If you know how to solve the uh, triple integration or double integration, you can so get minimum of 2 marks. So finally, I can say that from module 1, minimum you can score 8 marks. Minimum you can score 8 marks. My aim is to say, so I think you all know, out of 100, the passing marks is 35 marks. So to get how to get 35 marks, I am giving uh, this video. So moving on to module 2. So module 2 is of uh, vector calculus. Moving on to module 2. Mo module 2 is of vector calculus. In vector calculus, if you study first uh, finding how to find gradient of phi that can be denoted as del phi, then divergence of vector f, divergence of vector f and curl of vector f definitely one problem will be there so you can get a minimum of seven marks here then secondly i can say that uh, uh, or you can secondly i can go with the matlab code matlab code matlab code write the matlab code for the above they can ask a matlab code for the above that is what i have given already here we have see here so using the matl uh, matlab tool write the code for curl of the given vector this is what uh, the uh, problem to solve for that this is what we have the code first define sims xyz then define the uh, vector f in square bracket so components of ijk i have written so if they give any other value you can write down that values here components of ijk separately so then find curl of f with respect to xyz if they ask divergence divergence of x f with respect to x y z so for uh, gradient the code is different so like this you can solve one problem so definitely you can score six marks from this module so if you solve matlab code definitely you can get six marks so out of these two questions and i will uh, insist you to study find the directional derivative find the directional derivative problem find the directional derivative problem so definitely from this uh, seven marks will be there so by solving the directional derivative problem seven marks but 
I feel you can score minimum of seven marks. Minimum of seven marks from module two. Module two. Moving on to module three. Coming to module three. In module three, you have a vector space. So I will not stress more more on vector space. If you just study linearly dependent problem, linearly independent problem, and basis basis dimension basis and dimension all these are only same concept that's why i have taken only one question if you study these concepts what uh, these four concepts that is linearly dependent linearly independent basis and dimension definitely you will get seven marks from the module three from module three seven marks if you study these three modules from these three modules only you are getting 22 marks here you are only getting 22 marks so moving on to module 4 moving on to module 4 in module 4 you know what are all the things you have that is a uh, numerical methods under numerical methods first study newton rapson method newton's rapson method newton rapson method or you can have the choice with this regular falsi method regular falsi method regular falsi method regular falsi method then you can have a, uh, another problem that is newton's forward newton's forward newton's forward interpolation formula interpolation formula interpolation formula or backward interpolation formula forward interpolation formula or backward interpolation formula uh, next you can have the option uh, studying on uh, problems on lagrange's 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 interpolation formula or newton's divided difference formula newton's divided divided difference you newton's divided difference problem so or finally finally you have the option so don't miss this final one that is numerical integration numerical numerical integration numerical integration so this is the way of asking the problem so under numerical integration you have simpson's one by third rule three by eight rule uh, and uh, trapezoidal rule so only th these three topics are there under numerical integration one is simpson's one by third rule three by eight rule or uh, trapezoidal rule so i uh, either of three these out of these three questions they will ask only one questions so definitely if you if it is possible to study all these concepts definitely you can score from this module 20 out of 20 marks see i have taken uh, the question paper here so if they ask regular falsi here there is they will ask newton rapson method if that's divided difference uh, table here, they will ask uh, uh, Newton's forward uh, interpolation formula. Here, definitely one question will be on numerical integration. Definitely one question will be on numerical integration. So that's why you can score from this module 20 out of 20 marks if you study these concepts. When you come to uh, module 5, the last module, if you study first, first uh, try to get uh, 35 marks. First study RK method, Runge Kuta method, and Milne's predictor character method, and modified Euler's method. If you study these three concepts, minimum you can score 14 marks. Minimum 14 marks you can score. So, in case if you are able to study Taylor series method, then definitely you can score 20 out of 20 from this module. So, totally now if you count from module 1, from module 1, how much marks you scored? So from module 1, minimum uh, 7 marks, from module uh, uh, minimum 8 marks, from uh, module 2, 7 marks, from module 3 is also 7 marks, from module 4, 20 marks, from module 5, um, I will take uh, the minimum marks itself, I will take uh, the minimum marks that is uh, 14 marks. So if you add now, so that is uh, 7 plus 7, 14, 14 plus uh, 4, uh, 18, 18 plus uh, 8, uh, 6. So carry one so which is nothing but 46 marks but you needed just 35 marks 
so if you score if you study whatever uh, the the way i told you you can definitely score 46 marks but you need just 35 to but you need just 35 marks nothing to worry if you get 46 marks that is well uh, very good marks so that is what you are going to score so i think now you are going to get some idea how to solve the problems uh, in tomorrow's exam or uh, upcoming exam so i think now you can get prepared very well for your exam now coming to uh, ele electrical uh, stream so straight away i will go with uh, module 4 so whatever uh, the thing i told you uh, for uh, cs stream you can follow the same way to solve the module 4 and module 5 so you can continue with the same co concept of uh, studying module 4 and module 5 coming to module 1 in module 1 uh, you are going to have vector spaces so in that uh, vector spaces you can study angle between two curves and curl divergence uh, finding curl divergence gradient irrotational solenoidal there only you can score if you study these uh, topics definitely you can score 20 out of 20 but we will take minimum marks minimum marks of 14 marks you can score you can score minimum of 14 marks so uh, definitely one problem will be there on a mathematical tool so you need to solve the problems of mathematical tool so for that reason if you study only mathematical tool you can score only seven marks from this module so again if we go to module 2 as i told you for uh, cs stream in the same manner you can follow that you can study just uh, a linearly dependent and a linearly independent or basis or dimension definitely one problem will be there on that topic therefore you can score seven marks from this module also Moving on to Laplace transformation, under Laplace transformation, definitely one problem will be on differential equation. If you study differential equation, definitely you can solve uh, all these uh, categories of problems under uh, whatever uh, inverse Laplace is there, you can solve. So, but I will take uh, minimum marks as 7 itself. So, therefore, when you count the total of uh, the marks, maximum you can score 45 marks means uh, the minimum uh, the average student i am talking about average student so they can score minimum of 45 marks in e and d uh, electrical branch so i think now you understood how to analyze the problem and how to choose the problem to solve in your examination i think it is enough for you so i wish you all the very best for your upcoming examination thank you all for watching this video I and also don't forget to share this video with your friends and finally press like button. Thank you all.